Welcome back. Happening this weekend, soccer back in the city of Flint. Always an exciting time. This morning, Costa Papista, president of the Flint City Box and the Flint City AFC, joining us in studio to talk about the debut of soccer again. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. And you're, you're dressed. You're ready. I'm ready. I've got the official scarf. Well, why is this <laughs> such an exciting time for you? Well, this is the third season for our women, our women's program. They were undefeated last year in the regular season in the Great Lakes Division. Our coach, Michelle Krisnick, won Coach of the Year out of 65 teams across the country. So they had really an amazing, amazing season. We'll dive into that more. I mean, why are you so proud of Flint City AFC? Well, you know, these Number one, the team features some of the best uh, pre-professional girls in the sport. Um, a lot of them are off to UNC, Florida State, UCLA, some of the top soccer programs across the country, and they're all playing together here at Atwood Stadium. And so it's, it's amazing. Th these girls are so talented. Well, and is this really a chance to catch people earlier in the, their careers before they really take off even more? I mean, talk about what pre-professional means. Yeah. It, Basically, uh, for our men's team and the women's team, uh, this is the talent pool that in, on the women's side, the NWSL drafts from, and on the men's side, MLS. Uh, for the men, we had five players drafted last year into Major League Soccer, the most of any club in the country. That's so quite an accomplishment. We're very proud of it, and this is why players want to come here. They could play anywhere in, in the country to get ready for this, but they come to Flint because they know that, you know, we have a bit of a track record of developing top talent. And again, the whole city as a whole should be cheering that on. Uh, talk about where these games are played. Atwood Stadium, uh, so Saturday night, seven o'clock, we, we play Detroit City, which is our, our chief rival uh, on, on the women's side. They, will, they travel well, so there'll be hundreds of Detroit fans coming, so hopefully we can drown them out. But uh, it's, it's gonna be a great, a great battle on Saturday. It starts at seven o'clock. Um, it's very family friendly. We've got bounce houses and all kinds of things going on for the kids. Well, and you know, talk about again what these teams mean for the city of Flint and why you're so excited to see folks in the stands cheering them on. Well, there, there, there is a relationship between the players and the kids. Uh, first of all, every game at Atwood Stadium, we let kids come down at halftime and fill their boots. They can run around and we usually have 40 soccer balls out there. So it's a lot of fun for the kids. Our players on the men's and women's side, they stay uh, as late as anyone wants them to, to sign autographs after games, take pictures. So they're very accessible. That's one of the cool things about minor league sports is that the athletes are, are super excited and accessible. Yes, and they appreciate all that support. Yeah. So it runs the details again. When's the uh, opener coming up? It's Saturday night, seven o'clock at Wood Stadium. Uh, FlintCityAFC.com for tickets or at the stadium gates. Always an exciting time and great to see you. We can't wait to see you and follow the success this year. Thank you.